Today we're going to do an oil change on a 2011 Mazda CX-9. Alright, here is the oil filter replacement part number and there's the oil weight size. So now what we're going to simply do is we're going to open up this oil intake cap uh, where you pour the oil. I don't know what you really call this. <laughs> it's where you put the oil in there. Uh, so next step, what we're going to do is we're going to lift it up. And just by removing the cap, uh, what we're able to do is drain the oil a lot faster because it's able to breathe uh, so it doesn't gurgle. Gloop, gloop, gloop. Take a long time to drain out. That way it just flows out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and lift up the car. All right, so under here, you can see where the drain plug is at. It is on this side, right there. So what we're gonna actually do is lift the car up on this side, on the support. All right, and the whole reason I'm lifting it from this side is because the drain plug is on this side. So if we elevate this way, we'll get most of the oil out. All right, now we're gonna secure our work area with some jack stands. Safety is number one. That's perfect. Sweet. So now we could work underneath it. All right, and these are the basic tools that you're going to be needing to do the oil change. There's our oil catch. Can, catch, pan, pan, pan. And here's just a different set of sockets. One standard, one's metric. Uh, I tried both standard and metric and it looks like it's gonna be a 15, but if it's a bit loose All right, so here it is And you can See a little bit of play on it 14 is too small 9 16 is too small The one above it is too big but thing just kind of cracked um, But I guess we'll use 15 so we'll use 15 to get that out and the oil filter it's right there, nice and accessible. Nice, piece of cake. Then we have this oil filter removal tool that just hooks onto your ratchet and it just lets the filter loose. Yeah, because I can't let it go in my hand. So we're gonna need that. So let's go ahead and break that screw loose here to drain the oil. All right, uh, these you're not supposed to over tighten. Um, and I've been doing a lot of oil changes lately and all of them are over tightened. So the way I break it loose is I grab one hand here and then with the other one, I make it into a fist and I just hit it downwards to break it loose. Kind of works like an impact. Uh, so it breaks it loose little by little. And after you break it loose, just drive it out. And that's probably the reason why this is all cracking right here because they're putting a lot of strain into that one bolt, forcing this to flex. Uh, I just did an oil change on a Jeep and look, I jacked my finger up trying to loosen up the freaking oil bolt. It's already healing, but blood started squirting from this side, blood started squirting from that side, and I was like, fuck. So don't over tighten these damn bolts. You're gonna end up fucking something up. Or messing up the threads on these and then you're really screwed because then you're gonna have to re-thread it if it messes up the inner threads and it's just a hassle it's just a freaking hassle so now that we have that loose and it's ready to about to come out we're gonna remove it and drain right on top of it just a little drizzle on the side so we'll go ahead and let it drain and we'll come back to it. All right, so it's pretty much done. There's just a little bit of a stream. It's like cutting in and out. It's almost nothing. We're gonna go ahead and cap it. So we're just gonna go ahead and put the screw back in there. Alright, and we're just going to tie it up, 
snug, not over tightened. That's plenty tight. All right, this was pretty low on oil. So let's go ahead and move the drain pan towards the filter. And now we're gonna grab our fancy tool to remove this filter. Let's go ahead and set it up. There it is, set up. And let me use both hands. All right, I had to grab an extension. Uh, essentially, this is how you do it. Let me put the flashlight over here. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and release this and all you simply do is just drive it out and how this works is uh, it just tightens 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 until it breaks it loose and these don't need to be over tightened either you're gonna end up breaking the gaskets and create an oil leak once you break that loose you should be able to just drive it out with your hand Oil is going to start spilling. Oil is not working with me. So just let it drain out. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and unscrew it all the way. Be careful when it comes down because they will have oil still inside the canister. There it is. Yeah. I'm gonna sit it right there. Grab a rag and clean yourself off. We're gonna clean all this up here. With a rag. Just so it's clear from any debris. That's good enough, it's getting dirty again. <laughs> Alright, and now We'll install our new oil filter. All right, and what you're gonna do next is dab your finger a little bit with this oil. And you're gonna come over here and you're gonna put it around just like that, all around it. So that it creates a nice tight seal. We're going to go ahead and screw it into place. Sit it in there, drive it backwards a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to get a good angle. So you fill it and dry it in. I'm gonna need both hands real quick. All right, if you're threading it on and it's hard, you're doing it wrong. It should be sliding like that. That's why I needed my other hand, so I have to drive it in there correctly. And I am not going to use the tool to tighten it, I'm just going to use my hand to tighten it. Because that's all you need. Don't need nothing else than that. So, that's complete. Alright, we're done underneath here. Bolts on, filters on, time to crawl out of here and throw on the oil. Alright, let's go ahead and remove our jack stand. vehicle all right grab our funnel insert it inside grab our five quarts turn on our flashlight all right and for this process I am going to need both hands uh, you're gonna grab the filter and then pop open this, take off the seal that's on there, and drain it like this. That way you have more control over it. Top it off. And we'll check the dipstick the next, next step. And we'll make sure it's topped off. All right, just like so, look at this, filling itself up. Nice. Look, ma, no hands. Look, ma, no hands. 
I will drain this a little bit like this. Look at that. Look at that, how easy that is. So let's go ahead and fill it all the way up. All right, let's go ahead and pull out our dipstick. Let's drain it real quick. Drain it, wipe it. <laughs> Stick it back in. Come on. Come on. There you go. Sweet. It's nice and full. It's right at the line, at the second line. There it is, you can tell. Sweet. So this sucker takes five quarts. Nice to know. And that is how you complete the oil change on the 2011 Mazda CX-9. Cap goes in like this. Take off your rag. Turn off your flashlight. And you're done. Sweet. Next thing what I do is I put the funnel on the bottle like that. And then I grab that and I drain it in there. Cap it off. Take it to AutoZone. You take it and I dump the can. Sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.